Hey guys, so today I'm doing this fall vibes makeup tutorial. I'm doing these very clean, flirty, warm toned eyes, but still very clean and easy and simplistic to do. Put the pressure on clean and simplistic because people have been demanding it from me. And then of course I needed my touch of glam, so I added a, sh a ton of highlighter and glossy bronze metallic red lips. Yummy. I am seriously obsessed with this look. I think it screams fall. I think it is so sexy and seductive and clean and simplistic and easy. And yeah, without any further ado, if you would like to know how to get this look right here, then please keep watching. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do for this fall vibes makeup look is sort of, I'm not really gonna apply a primer because I'm just filming this and then I'm taking it off and I'm going to sleep and then I'm going to the airport. I'm going in with the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist and I'm just gonna spray and, and soak up that moisture. I'm gonna go in with the Air Flash Foundation by Dior, and I am in the color 100. Now, a little side note, this is the last time I'm giving this a shot. I've tried this numerous amounts of times, and every time I tried it, I absolutely hated it. So I'm giving it one more shot, and if I hate it after this, it's gonna be a no god no. It's gonna be one. I don't care, it's gonna be one. So what I did in the past was kind of keep it at a distance and then spray myself and it would end up everywhere. My shirt, my hairline, my nose hair, brows, ears, teeth, everywhere. So not today, today I'm gonna keep it very close to my actual face and try, I'm gonna try and make this work. Hmm. Okay, with the brush, I'm gonna blend it in and hope for the best. That already is one of the best tries it's ever had on my face. Usually, it would just go everywhere and not cover anything. I would have to go layer upon layer upon layer. But right now, it's looking pretty damn good. I mean, so many people love this foundation. They're like, it's my holy grail. It makes my skin look the best. It has amazing coverage. And every time people would say that, I'd be like, bitch, where? So what a lot of my friends do is use this as a base foundation and then go in with a classic foundation over top in areas that you need it. So maybe I'm gonna have to give that a shot because so far, not a no god, no. <laughs> So now I'm gonna go in with my classic foundation, which is Too Faced Born This Way. I'm picking up a little bit more on my brush. And in areas where I always prefer a little bit more coverage, I'm gonna apply that right on top. So top of the cheekbones, just a thin layer. Which we all know is a lie, because I don't work in thin layers. Can I just say this day is full of surprises already? I used the Air Flash foundation because I always hate it and I wanted to give it one last shot. Same goes for this brush. This is the Morphe M439. I usually never really like it because I feel like it leaves me streaky and patchy and uneven. But today is actually the first day where I actually like this brush. <laughs> for concealer today, of course, Tarte Shape Tape in fair, it's 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 not even a question. And I'm buffing that in using my Morphe Beauty Sponge. And now I'm gonna bake the under eye area using my NARS Soft Velvet Loose Powder in Snow. And setting the rest of my face using my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Powder Morphe M444. And I'm just gonna... Now we may keep it simple today, but we still wanna prime. I'm using my Soft Darker Paint Pot by MAC. Now going into the Too Faced Power of Makeup Eyeshadow Palette and taking the color Ivy. And with the shade, I'm gonna set my crease to brow bone area to help blending later on. Now I'm gonna go in with Painkiller, the perfect soft definition crease color. And really softly, I'm gonna carve my crease out with this. And nothing too harsh or intense. 
but I just like my eyes a whole lot better when I have at least a little bit of definition in that crease because if I don't do that, it's like a sack of eye skin. <laughs> so I always need that tiny bit of definition to just push that crease in a tiny bit to make me feel good. Now cleaning the lid up using some more Ivy. Hopping over to the Morphe 9N blush palette and using these colors to define my lower lash line. Quickly applying the Sephora Colorful Shadow and Liner in Matte Wet to my waterline to open up. And lastly, blinding my inner corners using Sugar Coated from the Power of Makeup eyeshadow palette. And for lashes, I'm gonna take these beauties by Lena Lashes and they come in the cutest packaging ever, watch. This is the packaging they come in. It is so cute, so cute, oh, I love it. Okay, for cheeks, I would be lying if I told you I wasn't gonna use the Kevin Aquan Medium Sculpting Powder. Where, where is this going? I'm just using the Kevin Aquan Medium Sculpting Powder. And I'm gonna use that Sigma brush that I am obsessed with, the F06. And as always with my face powder, Morphe M444, I'm gonna clean up and Sharpen it just so it looks airbrushed. And I'm also really quickly gonna contour my nose. For blush, I'm gonna keep it simple and use a mixture of the two blushes of the Power of Makeup palette. And to give my face a beautiful radiant glow to counteract for having such little stuff on my eyes, I'm gonna go in with Sugar Coated. Yes, yes. And also, of course, tip of my nose and a bridge of my nose. Like that. Now, like I said, I kept the eyes very muted or like muted in Nikki terms and glowing skin because I wanted this look to focus on that glow and the lips. So I'm gonna go in with a fun little metallic mixture. So first I'm gonna go in with Jouer Lip Cream in Cabernet. And then now to amp up the fall vibes, I'm gonna go in with this ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip. And this is in the color Cheat Code, and it's a metallic bronze. Oh my God. Oh, uh. And now to finish, I'm gonna lock my face into place using Chill Makeup Setting Spray by Urban Decay. And that guys concludes this Fall Vibes Simplistic Glam Glossy Chrome Bronze Lips Makeup Look. For a full list of every single product mentioned and used, go to my description box below or NikkiTutorials.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. That all is Nikki Tutorials. As always, if you enjoyed watching this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I wanna thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you recreate this look, please don't forget to tag me on Instagram and Twitter, and I cannot wait to share your look with my followers. And other than that, I hope you enjoyed. Hope I'll see you next time. I love you. Bye.